night guys good lord what a difference in 600 miles makes back in east bumblefuck new mexico on this cold winter day here this cold refreshing winter day back in doomsday chicken coop in east bumblefuck new mexico i can kiss goodbye the heat of austin texas anyway Back in the country, back to my We Are So Fuck sign. Oh, yes. And uh, so what day is it? It is Wednesday, May the 9th, 2017, I believe. So I uh, can't wait to get into my first climate change meltdown roundup rant on this uh, chilly winter May day in the end times in the paradise of these bumblefuck new mexico but before i dive into all of that mess i'm just gonna do what i try to do every day and dive into uh my mailbag here at humpty dumpty tribe and i don't want you i, mean, I need to keep you around he's a some sort of little creature furry creature has moved in <laughs> and uh sancho panza would be barking throughout anyway so you're gonna stick around little dog to keep me warm if nothing else let's go back to Austin Texas for a while uh, to listen to from brother Mike D I'm sorry I didn't make it to meet you uh, Mike on Sunday but let's see what might have been on your mind had I. This is what Mike has to say leading into my climate change meltdown roundup rant. Good news for me is I just got as I just got caught up with what Sam Carana, Sam Carana, who may or may not be Guy McPherson, has posted lately and we, and we may be looking at a massive spike in global average temperature by 2021. Things are truly happening so fast that it is out of control now. Last week, just over 20% of America's wheat crop was wiped out due to the massive storm system that hit Colorado, Panhandle, Texas, Western Oklahoma, and Kansas. And Mike, could you please send me the link to that story? Because I have not, uh, it has not come across my radar. And of course, the massive flooding in Kansas and Oklahoma with the addition of Missouri and Arkansas. From a contact in Vermont, I have learned that the city of Rutland was hit by a massive thunderstorm that the forecasters weren't expecting. 75 mile an hour wind burst took out much of the city's power. I think these types of unpredicted storms are fast becoming the norm. Why is this good news? It's time to get this shit over with. I figure the sooner that humans go, he has humans go instinct, I think he means the sooner that humans go extinct, the better the chance that some other life forms on this planet survive. As I've said before, we suck. Fuck Homo sapiens, a truly failed experiment. If it was an experiment, that is, that's exactly what it was, it was an experiment and an, and an utter failure. Next, we're going in a, but I'm going to come back with the quote of the day from my Humpty Dumpty tribe, Paul Watson. Paul Watson kind of picking up the theme from uh, Brother Mike. But I'll be right back with Brother Paul in one minute. Bye guys. Now you stay, you're not going after that little critter.